Up here, you'll see I have three buttons that let me show or hide different panes of the window. And the first one we'll talk about is the navigator. The pane here is going to be shown at the left. The debug area will be at the bottom and the utilities area will be at the right. So let's move into the navigator now. There it is at the left. I can show it or hide it and not move it. In the navigator, I see, in this case, the project navigator. And that's a list of all of the files in the project. They are grouped here, you can see, into various groups, and I can open and close groups. These groupings reflect the logical groupings inside Xcode that you have. Although these look like folders in the Finder, these are groups in Xcode. The file folder structure inside your project is independent of the grouping structure inside Xcode. Many times it's the same, but many times it's not. So you can use either one or both to organize the physical files in the Finder and the logical arrangement of files within the Xcode project itself. As you saw, you can open or close groups, and there can be groups within groups. You can close up the entire project if you want. And now I can edit the project itself, and you'll see over here the basic information about the project. These are things that will be in the property list. And this is really part of the frameworks and Coco, so I'm not going to get into that here. What I am going to do is to go back to the Project Navigator and look inside some of the files so that we find more about using the Project Navigator. I can switch to another file. And if I switch to a file such as a storyboard, I'm going to bring up Interface Builder. This is actually the interface that for iOS is built using a storyboard. We'll get into the interface later on, but you'll see that I can move from text-based files to graphical files just by selecting the files and the appropriate editor will show up here in the editing area. Now, down here at the bottom of a navigator, I have various tools. Here, I can search for files with whatever name I have typed in here. That's the Project Navigator, which has files in it. Next to it, I have the Symbol Navigator, which lets me navigate through the project in terms of the symbols. Here I have a class, and I have methods within that class. Here I have another class. Here I have methods within that. And you can see over here that as I am selecting a method in a class, or a class itself, it's live as I move through the symbols in the project. And down here, I can search for symbol names, depending on which navigator I'm in. I also have other icons over here that I can use to select what I see up here in whichever navigator I'm looking at. Most of the time, what most people use is the project navigator, symbol navigator, and the search and find navigator over here. This one lets you find or replace text in the project. It should not be confused with the basic find, which searches within the current file. You can see I have find up here, and I can also turn this into a replace. This is just for this file. Over here, I'm looking at the entire project. Here, I will find issues. This is where you get warnings and errors. And we'll get to the other navigators as we go on to explore Objective-C. But the main ones to look at are the Project Navigator, Symbol, Search, and as you start building and debugging, the Issue Navigator.